Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jake with Mind Over Mind, and well, we have another one of these videos about a year later. We have the Brick Fair images for the 2016 summer sets, so the sets that are going to be coming out in the summertime from the Bionicle Wave, and I'm just really excited about these sets, and these are personally my opinions. Uh, I'm going to be just discussing what I personally think about them. I know that a lot of people have put these kinds of videos, like analysis videos and in-depth uh, looks uh, on these sets and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing my own take and yeah expect a long video too um, this would be a perfect video to if you have YouTube red um, you can go ahead and just keep the the video playing in the background as you're like folding laundry or something because I'm gonna be talking a lot about these sets the pros of each set the cons of each set and just what I think about the overall wave I actually really like this wave um, not as much as some of the previous ones but I am excited nonetheless all right Yes, let's do this. I'm already getting hyped for the review season, like when I get these sets and I'm able to review them and talk about them. But let's go ahead and look at the first one on this page. I will put the link in the description for the website that I'm looking at right now. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be looking at Ikimu first off. Um, this set is interesting and there's a lot of things that I like about it, but I feel like there's more things that I dislike about it, which is unfortunate. Um, I am glad that they finally made an Ikimu... Uh, you know kind of quote-unquote Toa set where he's almost like the seventh Toa but uh, I think the way they executed it is uh, is not preferable in my opinion um, first off I love the color scheme uh, it maintains the same color scheme as the last generation version of Akimu um, it has the gold with the translucent uh, transparent uh, light blue First off, I love that color scheme, I'm just going to say, but just the way that they, they layered it and they, they placed the pieces is just awkward to me. Um, I feel like the armor placement, uh, specifically speaking, um, on his shoulders, uh, you know, they have those gold pieces on the shoulders, but the piece below that is translucent. I wish that had been gold as well. It would have just been a, a continuous gold plating down his arm. And it's just things like that that I wish were executed a little better. You can see that on his shins as well. If those shin pieces, uh, or sorry, his thigh pieces, are, if those were gold, I feel like that would have been better as well. Talking about the mask, I do like that we have a translucent blue mask piece for this, the mask of creation. However, I don't think it looks that great for this set. Uh, I think it's much better if you, you know, have a gold version, the gold edition. And I'm honestly, I'm just going to swap the blue one out for the gold edition that we got with Skull Grinder versus, you know, Mass Maker. Mass Maker versus Skull Grinder, Kimu. So I'm just going to be doing that as soon as I get this set. Um, I think it'll make it look much better. Um, the chest print, I don't have a huge problem with. It's very simplistic, but I think it does it justice. I like it a lot. Um, I also like kind of the abdomen area. Like, you know, there's the chest print, but there's also the layer uh, the lower print uh, on the chest as well I like that a lot very cool stuff of course that is the same torso piece as the uh, 2016 Toa sets the same ones they have um, and I like that that piece a lot so it's cool I really love the fact that the shield is attached to his his arm now he's not holding anything it's just a buzz saw on his on his uh, forearm I think that's a genius idea and I think it's gonna be able to somehow rotate back and forth like side to side uh, as well, so I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, cool addition. This set also has both gear systems So it has the the torso rotation gear Which is at the bottom of the torso like the lower back and it also has the uh, the arm Gearbox that came with the 2015 uh, toe sets. That's really cool. Uh, shut up and take my money <laughs> That's a really cool idea, but uh, I wish it had been implemented a little bit better You can see that the shoulders are kind of pushed forward. It looks very interesting, but anyways his hammer I'm not too crazy about. Um, I don't know why they went this route. I I, I don't know what to think about it. Um, although, I mean, I know I don't like it. I'm just trying to figure out why I don't like it. I think it just looks too similar to Onua's uh, 2016 hammer. His drill hammer stud shooter thing. I know it doesn't use like hardly any of the same pieces, but that's just what it's coming across as. It looks like a single-handed version of that. And I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it. I, I think Onua's version is so much more superior, and it just makes this one look kind of dull. So, um, but overall thoughts, I will be getting this set. I mean, I will be getting all of these, but uh, I do 
definitely like it overall like looking at the whole thing but if you really pick it apart look at the individual elements that make up the overall set it's just not you know too appealing to me i wish it was you know something more it's missing something it's too simple or something so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down on this page the next set which we're gonna be looking at is lava beast this thing is cool i like it i mean when these uh were first leaked um a lot of people didn't really appreciate it and of course the the image quality was kind of blurry now we have a higher quality version um and i like it a lot first off let's go ahead and go from like toes to head because i feel like the head is more interesting um it looks like we have standard protector feet with those claws on there nothing too special i'm uh, moving up to the thighs you know same pieces um the torso piece is interesting um it is the same skull villain torso that we've got so many times i wish that you know they had come up with a new sort of torso to go on these things the, the new chest piece um or not the chest piece yeah what, what i'm saying the, the the overall torso armor it's the same skeleton looking you know rib cage piece and i just wish they had done something new there um, I feel like they could have done a lot of different things with that, um, but I don't know, maybe Lego was having a budgetary crisis, I don't know, <laughs> I doubt it, but they could have, you know, put in a little bit more effort with the originality there. Chest Priest I like a lot, it actually reminds me of the Didax, uh, Sphere kind of type thing, his carrier in uh, Halo 4, uh, same kind of design, it looks really cool to me, I'm definitely going to, uh, keep that. Uh, I like his weapons. I just want to step back and say that this set is symmetrical. I really love symmetricality. Uh, you know, when a set is asymmetrical, it can be done well. Uh, for example, I really like the 2016 Onua build uh, with his arm being his two arms being separate. Uh, I think that's really cool and, and different. Um, this set is is symmetrical, so I really like that. It looks very aesthetically pleasing, aesthetically ple aesthetically pleasing, and uh, yeah, I like his weapons too. It has those uh, gear. Uh, kind of gear system uh, spikes coming off of his hands and he also has uh, posable claws which is very cool as well if you look on his uh, shoulders he has translucent black transparent black pieces um, very interesting I can't remember when the last time we've had this this color before um, looks very interesting it's gonna be definitely a mocker's dream to get these sets or these pieces because they are so limited uh, this this color moving to the head has a new headpiece. Um, so if you look closely, there is a headpiece within the overall head. It's translucent green, um, but it also has like these the top headpiece uh, and then the like lower jaw piece. And I don't know how poseable these are going to be. I'm trying to really like look closely. I don't think that it can close. But I could be wrong on that. I really hope it can. But it looks like these these red pins are keeping that in place, so his mouth is is always open. It really reminds me of the uh, Paraka uh, sets when those were first revealed and they had teeth and they were the first Bionicles with teeth, uh, like a teeth piece. Um, I was kind of weirded out by them. I was like, whoa, they're going really tribal with these. Like they look like tribal masks. I'm getting kind of getting the same uh, feel with these guys. I really like it. It's a change and it's really harkening back to the tribal origins. Uh, of course, he has those two Borak eyes as horns. Love that. And I can't wait to see this set and open it for myself. Let's go ahead and move down to Storm Beast. Uh, this, I heard, got a lot of mixed reviews. Um, I don't... Well, first off, I will say I love the color scheme. Uh, the chest print is okay. Uh, it's very, uh, like, honeycomb-ish. Like, lots of different sections that build up the same design. Um, I like that a lot. Of course, it has the same chest uh, torso piece, the skeleton torso piece. Really wish they can deviate from that in the future, but we'll see where that goes. Um, and then, of course, he has these uh, translucent green, yellow, neon uh, claws. Very cool stuff. I don't know why they they use the protector feet on those, though, um, especially with the, uh, the ball joint socket with nothing in it. Um, I'm not too crazy about that. Uh, it actually turns me off quite a bit from the set. Um, I wish they had, you know, used a different hand piece to connect it all together. And I, it looks like the people that created the set or that built it at Toy Fair, uh, built it wrong. It looks like his left thumb, so our right, but his left, it looks like that thumb piece is going backwards. Uh, maybe I'm just seeing 
it from a weird perspective, but uh, it looks like it's going the wrong way. Anyways, uh, I like the head again. I love the uh, the blending of the dark metro blue to the, the neon color. I like that a lot. Um, I love this color scheme. I just wish that they had uh, implemented it a little bit better. Maybe if they had made those uh, translucent pieces uh, darker, I feel like the overall thing would have been much better. But um, for what it is, I like it a lot, and I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Um, I can't tell what function it has either. You can, uh, I know that with the um, Lava Beast, you could see a, a gear system, but with this one, um, I can't really tell. The only thing I have coming off of this is that you can see that the shoulders are very similar to another 2015 summer set that we got, Skull Bashers. So it may have the same bashing system uh, in place where it, it the, the two pieces come together. Um, or the two arms. So hopefully uh, that is the thing because I love that function and I think it's underused. I think it's a very cool uh, feature for Bionicles to have, but uh, if it doesn't have it, I mean, fine by them. I just hope it has some function of some kind. It also has a tail uh, with a shadow trap at the end of it. You can't really see it from this angle, but it does look cool. Um, and I can't wait to see, you know, a full 360 degree uh, spin of this thing. Before we finish up with this set, um, I will say that the now before we move on to the next set, which is debatedly one of the better beast sets, um, we can see that uh, with this set there are no elbows. Um, there, you know, there's the the shoulder socket, and then there's the there we have that that axle piece, and then we have uh, like a wrist piece. So I I kind of wish that there was elbow integration I, I really thought we had moved on from that uh with the protectors having not or three of them not having elbows uh, but looks like it's coming back the no elbow syndrome which kind of sucks but um some mods to it can be made and i'm sure with those mods and uh modifications it will look pretty okay all right quake beast this one in theory is my favorite beast uh, I really like the the really crazy asymmetricality for this set. Um, I like the trans purple and black, my favorite color combination. Uh, with that neon uh, green color, I just like it a lot. I know some people really don't, but um, it's one of my, my favorite sets from this wave. Um, I will say, however, that the mask color just kind of makes me mad. <laughs> it looks like a, a pinkish... A purple I don't even know what color that is it's like a grape light grape color and it kind of just detracts from the entire set I really don't understand and okay it would have been okay if the chest piece uh, had a similar print or at least the print uh, of the same color however it's a completely different color it's like a pink it's like a hot pink color so I don't understand why they integrated this this color onto the mask it doesn't make sense to me I wish they had like a dark purple that we saw from uh, the Onua 2015 build. I don't understand what they're what they're going for there. However, with that being aside, there's a shadow trap on the shoulder. Looks freaking cool. We have those blade pieces that uh, came with the creature of stone. Really like those. Those are on his back. It looks like they will be able to rotate somehow, but uh, I'm sure they will have some sort of uh, posability there. Uh, it looks like. His right hand is is normal, or sorry, left hand is completely normal, uh, but his right hand, it looks like there are all these these crystals growing out of it. It looks very cool. It looks like that uh, crystal piece can spin, and uh, which causes those Borok eyes to spin along with it. Uh, his legs are not symmetrical either. It looks like he's been in a few fights. He looks very gnarly and messed up, and I love it. I love this rough uh, kind of aesthetic and it pulls it off nicely. I'm definitely going to pick this one up and I like it a lot However, it doesn't measure up to Umarak the destroyer. I love this set. Oh my gosh. This set blows all the other ones away. It's just fantastic um, There are a couple gripes I have with it, but overall it's a fantastic set and I'm going to be really looking forward to uh, to Just ripping that box open to throw this thing together Let's go ahead and start uh, bottom to top. First off, we have uh, the feet that look uh, like uh, the previous Umarak iteration. Uh, of course, his color scheme is completely different. Um, it is black and that same uh, trans neon color that a Storm Beast has, but um, I like it. Uh, I think it's very cool. It, 
it, it it looks like he put the mask of control on and it just messed him up it mutated him to this this point and all of the the power coming out of the mask the trans green power is running through him and and flowing through his limbs creating all of this color change it's very cool stuff love the energy in the set and uh i'm gonna say i'm i'm most looking forward to this one so like i was saying earlier his legs uh very very reminiscent of his previous form especially uh the thighs and uh the the calves kind of moving backwards jutting back as opposed to going forward the feet are also very reminiscent of his previous form however I wish they had just gone all out and included a middle toe on there. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, that would have been awesome. But with that being said, the rest of him looks great. Um, he has that same Onua 2015 chess piece with a different print. It looks very similar, but it is different. Trust me. Uh, it looks great. Uh, it just looks like the, the energy is pouring out of him. His chest is just bursting with this this evil darkness and it looks great. Uh, his hands have gear functions. On each one, there is a gear uh, or a couple cogs that just blend together. And I'm assuming uh, through that, his hands will open and close. Very cool stuff. Three claws on each uh, with, of course, uh, speaking of threes, he has three of those same skull uh, rib cage pieces, one on each hand. And of course, the one below the 2015 Onua chest piece. I wish they had gone with a different piece. But I've already said that like seven times by this point, forgive me. Uh, he has those same crystal pieces coming out of his, his uh, shoulders, um, or at least his, his uh, upper arms. And of course, the shadow trap pieces on his shoulders return from his previous form. He also has a chain on his right side that is dangling. Uh, I'm assumingly it's attached to the uh, shadow trap shoulder piece on his right side. Of course, he has a mutated version of the mask of control. And for those who are confused, why has those those golden pieces jutting from his chest? It's basically the mask of control. It mutated itself when it came in contact with Umarak, and it just messed him up. And not only did the wearer get messed up, but the mask kind of expanded to consume the majority of his body, or at least the upper half. Um, so those two prongs kind of coming up, uh, kind of angled down, but coming up are the two horns on the mask of control. Um, that you can see kind of in the background by his right hand. Um, but yeah, those are the horns that are kind of mutated into him. So he's part of the mask now. I just wish they had used uh, golden pieces for those axles that are connecting the, the, the horns to the mask. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it would have been better because, you know, from this picture, you can't really see where those horns are coming from. Uh, there's a lot of black in there. So... When you see the two uh, black uh, axle uh, pieces coming out of the head, um, it just it doesn't look visually pleasing. There's a break between the gold pieces, and I wish they had fixed that. Maybe they still can fix that. I doubt it. But if you listen to the the Lego community Bionicle, just please you know change those, please. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm really excited for this set, and by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be as big as the General Grievous LEGO Star Wars Construction set. Man, that set is awesome. If you haven't got that General Grievous set, uh, I would definitely pick it up. But that does suggest that this set will be about $35, so uh, it is going to be a little bit of a, uh, a pretty penny, but... It is a nice Titan set. I think it is the very first Titan set that we have. I'm looking at the shelf with all my 2016 and 2015 sets on it. The only other Titan set, quote unquote Titan set, that we got, I wouldn't even call this a Titan set. It's like a combo, but the uh, Mask Maker versus Skull Grinder, uh, and that doesn't do the, the mantle of Titan justice at all. So this is our very first ominous villain. It's also our first villain that's carrying over from you know two waves. Um, there was, of course, Skull Grinder, but he got defeated in a single season. Uh, and then, of course, there is Umarak, which is in this current season and the next one that starts in the summer. Can't wait. Oh, man. This guy is the first, you know, threat that looks threatening, you know? I mean, there are other ones that look, you know, uh, like menacing to the Toa. But if this guy stands up next to the Toa, I mean, he towers over all of them. He's going to knock them out. I'm just psyched for that showdown. Anyway, guys, this has been Jake with Mind Over Mind, uh, just talking about my thoughts, you know, my humble opinions on these sets. And guys, the 
2016 Bionicle Netflix show is coming out. It's so close, you guys. Netflix hype all the way. Get on that hype train. It is coming fast, and I can't wait to review those episodes. Um, I'm going to be doing a season review over that, and I'm going to be taking notes as I watch each episode. So expect that within a week of the Netflix show dropping. Anyways, again, like I said before, Jake with Mind Over Mind. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe, show me your support, like this video, send a comment to me down below, just, you know, showing what you think about these new sets. All right, that's enough of me. I will catch you guys in the next video, and have a great President's Day, you guys.